Hi there, I put up a video the other day about the current instrument effects commands on the Dirty Wave M8. In that video, I talked about looking at the manual and thinking there were only 31 of these and then realizing that there were 53 after all. And having done some work since I put that video up, I realized that there are even more. So I was forced to take the video down and scrap all the documents that I put up with it. My advice would be to scrap those because I've got a new document for you to download today in the form of a database. We'll just look at the manual briefly just to remind ourselves about what's going on here. On page 39 of the Dirty Wave M8 manual, you've got this effect command help view which shows what I thought were all of the effects commands available and the current instrument commands down here, they show, I think it's 31 like I said in my last video, I realised that there were a lot of effects commands specific to certain instruments, not a global group for all instruments, which was fine and I sorted all that out. And also looking on here you can see EV1 and EV2 and LFQ and LFT and I found out today from Tim that all these are now defunct as of version 3 of the software, which is fine, that's great, I know what I'm doing with it now. My list had grown from 31 to 53 before I made the last video. And then a couple of days after that, I was doing some work on my next video on this group of instrument commands, and I suddenly realised to my horror that I'd missed something really vital. The truth dawned on me that there are actually well over 60 of these current instrument commands. I think there are around 66, but I won't swear to that. It's something like that. The reason for this was that not only are there effects commands that are specific to certain instruments, but there are also those which are specific to certain modulators in the mods page. So I'm going to go to the Dirty Wave M8 view now and talk you through this. We'll just make a chain and a phrase, and we'll make an instrument and we'll just make a WAV synth, that's fine. If we go up from the instrument page to the mods page, and you can see by default you've got AHD envelope in mod 1 slot, and the same in mod 2 slot. Mod 3 slot's got an LFO, and mod 4 has got an LFO, so that's your default. We come over to the phrase page into effects 1 slot, hold edit and up, and we come down to the current instrument commands. These effects commands are all specific to the modulators that I've got in those four slots in the mods page, you'll see down here that you've got things like EA1, envelope amount, you've got envelope attack, you've got envelope hold, envelope decay, and you've also got things like LFO amount because there's an LFO. You can see LA3 and you'll also see LA4 because we've got LFOs in slots three and four to show you that again see so that's why it says la3 la4 because i've got an lfo in modulator 3 and in modulator 4. let's put some different ones in here now let's change mod 1 to adsr let's change mod 2 to drum envelope let's change mod 3 to trigger envelope and let's change mod 4 to tracking. So we've got four different modulator types in the four slots. We've got ADSR envelope in modulator 1, drum envelope in modulator 2, trig envelope in modulator 3 and tracking in modulator 4. Now when we come over to the phrase page and hold edit and up you'll see lots of different things here. For a start you can see TA4, TS4, TL4, these are all tracking effects commands with the letter T for tracking. We've got amount, source, uh, lowest value, highest value, and you've got tracking trigger. It's non-applicable here. Okay, what else have we got here? Envelope peak and envelope body because they go with the drum envelope. Here you see, drum envelope is in uh, mod two slot. So you get what I'm saying. Not only have you got instrument specific current instrument effects commands, that was a bit of a mouthful, but you've also got modulator specific effects commands. So 
it's been a bit of a saga this as you can probably hear from my voice but I feel quite happy now I feel quite at peace with it now because I do feel finally I've grasped it I've driven my poor wife mad with this over the last few days but I do feel like I say at peace with it now I do feel like I've got a handle on it I've also made a new table let's just jump to that and show you that so this is it and it's got these tabs along the top wav synth macro synth sampler fm synth hyper synth midi out and external these are the seventh instrument types in the m8 if we just look at the wav synth at the moment we've got all these effects commands which are common doesn't matter which modulator you're using you'll always see these so volume and pitch by the way are the only two you'll find in every group of these so the wav synth has got volume pitch fine tune oscillator shape oscillator size multiply phase warp and so forth and all your usual favorites filter type cutoff resonance amp limiter pan drive volume and then the chorus delay and reverb sends so that's all pretty straightforward if you've got an AHD in one of the slots then you'll see EA AT HODE or ET okay and obviously depending on how many slots you've used with the AHD and which slots they are it will be EA1 or EA2 or EA3 or EA4 so if you've got an AHD which is an attack hold and decay envelope in slot 4 you'll only see EA4 AT4 HO4 see the, the number is to do with the slot in the modulator page which modulator slot you've used if you've got an ADSR in one of the modulator slots 1 to 4 then you'll see uh, these you won't see hold in this one there's no envelope hold in this one okay but there is an envelope sustain in the ADSR some of these you'll see in lots of these different types of modulators envelope amount EA crops up quite a bit doesn't it with a drum envelope you've got envelope body and envelope peak you'll only see these with a drum envelope and that's BO and PK and obviously one to four depending on how many you've got and which slot they're in LFO has got its own unique set of effects commands so if you've got an LFO in one of the slots then you'll see LA LO LS LF and LT you got one to four for all of these depending on how many you've got and which slots they're in there's a brief explanation of them on the right here so LA is LFO amount LO is LFO oscillator type the trig envelope modulator that's got all the same ones that the AHD's got which is quite good isn't it and the tracking it's got its own specific tracking amount tracking source and so forth let's just try another one let's go to macro synth so the common ones volume and pitch and fine tune this one's got oscillator shape timbre color degrade bit reduction and then all your usual suspects filter cut off etc all of them can use these six different modulator types some have different effects commands than others notice the macro synth has a trigger effects command which is the macro synth trigger strike trg macro synth trigger strike and adsr here see envelope sustain so that's the macro synth the sampler volume pitch fine tune because it's a sampler it's got a play mode a start mode a loop length degrade and then the usual ones filter cut off resonance etc specific to the sampler instrument you've got the slices effects command and you've got all these others that you find in the other instruments dependent upon which modulator you're using hopefully you're getting the idea now so we'll go to the fm synth this one's got algorithm because that's something specific to fm synthesis the way you arrange the operators to get the sound that's the algorithm something that fills me with fear reminding me of many many days spent with a yamaha dx7 in the middle 80s and going completely nuts trying to figure it all out the fm synth has got fm modulator one two three and four and then all the usual other ones peculiar to the fm synth you also have this fm phase position effects command available on all of these modulator types you see so you'll see fmp i'll show you that now 
just go back to our other view. Let's change our instrument type. Bring it up to FM synth. So if we come back over here, hold this up, and you'll see FMP, FM phase position. Up here, you've got algorithm, like I said, FM1, FM mod 1, mod 2, mod 3, mod 4. See? Next one is hyper synth. This one has got volume and pitch, as you would expect, fine tune. Chord set, oscillator shift, oscillator swarm, stereo width. This one's got a sub oscillator and then all your normal ones. And specific to hypersynth, you've got chord voice offset, CVO and sync oscillators, SNC, as well as all the other stuff. Getting through it now. MIDI out. MIDI out has got MIDI program change, MIDI pitch bend, add a note relative to the bass note and play chord and all these control change messages A through J. Other than that, nothing very surprising here. Just got all the normal things over here that you've got in the other instrument types. An external, very similar to MIDI out. You've got MIDI pitch bend, MIDI program change. You've got four control change effects commands, A through D. And this one has got add, add a note relative to the bass note and play a chord, just like the MIDI out. You can create a two note chord using the X and Y numbers in the value. It is a bit of a rigmarole, this, isn't it? And I'm so sorry I, I didn't want it to be this complicated. And it isn't really that complicated. If you download this table any time that you want to use an effects command in this group, this current instrument, so in other words, you've got an instrument up and you've got a certain set of modulators in that mods page, you'll know what's available to you. And once I've done some tutorials on these, you'll know what they do. So talking about new videos, I'm obviously going to be doing some work on these, learning them. Some of them I've got sorted out already. In fact, I was working on some of the early ones the other day, like, well, volume I've already done, but I will do it again, I think, probably as it's part of this group, pitch and fine tune and so forth. And it was when I was starting to do this that I realised that there were even more of these effects commands to my horror. So when I feel like I know what I'm talking about with some or all of these, then I will be making some more videos. Now there is one section from my video that I made the other day that I think I can salvage and that was where I showed you quite a clever trick with these instrument effects commands. So I'll go to that now. Here's a really neat trick with the current instrument effects commands. I'm on an instrument page here for this web synth and if I go to a parameter, let's say amp, now as long as I press edit if I wanted to, I could alter this. I could press edit and up and change that to 10. If I come back to the phrase page, go to an empty effect slot, like effects 2, press edit, and it brings up the parameter that I was looking at and possibly altering on the instrument page. It's neat that, isn't it? Let's try that again. So instrument page, let's come over to warp. I'll press edit. I'm not going to change it. Come back to the phrase page, go to effects 3, which is empty and up comes warp. It's useful that, isn't it? So this table will be available in my Dropbox. I'll put a link in the description of this video so that you can download it. This will be available in numbers format, which is the Mac version of Excel. It'll be in Excel format and PDF format. The PDF format will show seven different sheets, okay? Not in this nice tab form that you get in a database. And I'm not saying that this is perfect. I may have made the odd tiny mistake and as I find them, I'll correct them. And if I do find any, any mistakes and if I do add to this in any way, I'll put a note on Facebook and I might even make a little video about it if it's something worth talking about. Hopefully, hopefully I've cracked it now. It's been a bit of a nightmare, but I'm really feeling quite pleased about it now. And uh, hopefully this will be useful to you in your journey forward with the M8 because it is an amazing device. It would be a shame not to use it to its full potential. They say that knowledge is power, don't they? Well, the more knowledge you can get with this device, the more powerful it becomes because it is deep. It goes very, very deep. And this is just one section of it, the current instrument commands. And there's loads of other stuff that I've covered in previous videos. I've done well over 30 of these videos in the five months that I've owned this device. And I still feel in some ways I'm just scratching the surface, which is pretty crazy, isn't it?
I think that's all I've got for you today. Many apologies for misleading you with my previous video, but that's now gone. It's taken down from YouTube and I've trashed the documents that I put up with it. This is the new one. This is the one you need. And uh, if you got some value out of today's video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll be back before you know it with some more videos on the M8.